Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We are going to make a Royal Hawaiian. Now, this is a riff on a blue Hawaiian. However, there's nothing blue about it, and there's no rum in it. It actually contains gin. And this was created by the same company that created the Empress 1908 gin. So I found this while I was looking through their website, and I said, hey, this looks really good. I'm going to try it for the first time with you here today right now. So you know what, before we get started, let's talk about the ingredients. The first thing we need is some Empress 1908 gin. Now this is a Canadian gin from British Columbia and it's 42.5% ABV and it also contains butterfly, flea, butterfly pea flower, which absolutely gives it the beautiful dark purple color that actually turns a light color as soon as you add citrus to it. The next thing you need is pineapple juice and in this case I'm using pure pressed pineapple juice or unsweetened pineapple juice that way the natural flavors of the pineapple actually come through in this drink. Next we're going to use some homemade orgeat. Now this is an almond syrup and what I will do is I will put the ingredients and a method of how to make this down in the description down below. The next thing we need is some lemon because you got to have some lemon juice with this because it just makes everything perfect and for your garnish we're going to use some pineapple fronds so let's get into it now this is a layered cocktail it's also a shaken cocktail so the first thing you need is your shaken glass now most bars and a lot of youtube bartenders will tell you to start with your cheapest ingredients first and in this case it actually works in our favor so we're going to use our homemade orgeat now one of the reasons my orgeat is darker than most people's is I use unblanched almonds to create this. Now, you could use blanched almonds, totally up to you because, you know, it'll be your syrup. And we're gonna use half an ounce or 15 milliliters. And one of the good things about using your syrup first is you will actually rinse out the uh, jigger with every subsequent pour after that. The next thing you need is some lemon juice. So we're gonna grab a lemon which I've just done. Chop it in half because we need half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Oh yeah. And you got enough lemon left over for another drink. Perfect. After this, we need our pineapple juice. Now, I did say I was using pure pressed pineapple juice. If you feel that you'd like to use a concentrated pineapple juice or something a little bit sweeter after having made the cocktail or when you're adjusting it, go for it, your cocktail, your flavors, because if it's the drink you like and it's in your hand, you can't go wrong. And we're gonna use one ounce or 30 milliliters. Okay, look at that. So the next thing we wanna do is shake it with some ice. So in this case, because I'm actually building my glass with crushed ice, I'm going to use a little bit of crushed ice and I'm going to give it a bit of a whip shake. And we don't need a lot because this is just going to be a light shake to begin the dilution process and chill it down. Okay, whip shake it. Because I'm so used to shaking hard, you know what I mean? Beautiful. Look at that. So grab your glass of choice. In this case, I'm using a highball glass. Um, use a small glass if you want, use anything you want. It's totally up to you. Grab some crushed ice and just, you wanna fill it about halfway. Now what we're going to do is just free pour this directly into here because you've already got crushed ice in here. There's no use of wasting it. And eventually, that's going to sink down. It's going to seep down and get there. So you know what? Grab your spoon, give it just a bit of, just enough of a stir, just to mix it and make it all look good. Beautiful. Now we're gonna add some more ice. And we're just sort of filling this up, but not much. And the reason for that is because we're going to add our gin and allow those layers to differentiate. So we're gonna use our Empress 1908 gin and we need an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. And you just wanna pour it on there slowly 
so that it floats on top like so. Look at that. And then maybe just add a little bit more ice. Beautiful. Grab two pineapple fronds. Look at that. And you have a gorgeous, gorgeous Royal Hawaiian. Got yourself a straw and give it a taste. Mmm, gorgeous. You get the almond, you get the orange that comes out of here, you get the pineapple juice. All those flavors were, work really well together and they blend with the citrus notes of the gin. If you think that I should use a different type of juice or a different type of orja syrup, please leave a comment down below. And if this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time we put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a great day.